Assalamu alaikum dear students, I hope you will be fine. Today we will have our uh, lecture number 13 of hydrology subject. In today's lecture we will uh, continue the topic analysis of precipitation data. In the previous lecture we have studied about estimation of missing precipitation data. In today's lecture we will study about consistency of precipitation uh, data or double mass index method used for uh, the analysis of precipitation of data. In this method, uh, in using a precipitation in the solution of hydrologic problems, it is necessary to ascertain that time trend in the data are due to meteorological changes. Quite frequently, uh, these trends are the results of the changes in the gauge location, changes in the intermediate surroundings uh, such as construction of buildings or growth uh, of trees etc. and changes in the observation techniques. Due to uh, the changes in the data, might the data might not be consistent. The consistency of the record then is required to be determined and the necessary adjustments uh, to be made. This can be achieved by the method called the double mass curve technique or double mass analysis method. In double mass uh, curve method, the obtained uh, data is plotted. Uh, in which the accumulated precipitation at the station is uh, along x uh, in question along x and uh, the average precipitation of a number of other nearby stations which are situated under the same meteorological condition along y axis. If the curve has a consistent slope, the record of station x is consistent. However, if uh, any break uh, in the slope of the curve is uh, curve is recorded then the station is inconsistent and has to be adjusted by the uh, formula that is P A is equal to S A divided by S naught into P naught. Here uh, P A is the adjusted precipitation, S O is P naught or P O is the observed precipitation, S A is the slope prior to the break in the curve and S naught is the slope after the break in the curve. All the values after the break are to be adjusted according to this equation. Uh, we will solve an example uh, on double mass analysis uh, in the statement. The statement is check the consistency of the data given in the table below and adjust if it is found to be inconsistent. This is the uh, data given in the problem in which uh, uh, for different years the annual presentation of station X is given and mean annual station of 20 surrounding stations is given in MN. So we will have to check the consistency of this data that either this data is consistent or inconsistent. So for this purpose uh, we will uh, plot first of all the uh, double mass curve graph or curve. So for that uh, we will first of all calculate the necessary data. In that way, we will have to calculate first of all the cumulative annual precipitation at station X and cumulative precipitation of 20 surrounding station uh, that is uh, PAB. So in 1972 the annual uh, precipitation at X or cumulative annual precipitation at X is 188 and the cumulative precipitation of 20 surrounding station is 264 and the corrected precipitation is 188. In, on the, uh, in 1972, cumulative annual precipitation at X is uh, 373. Uh, how we can get we get the 373 value? We have just simply to add 1972 value and 1971 value. That is the annual precipitation of 1970 and 19, uh, 1972 and 1971. So we will get this 373 value. Similarly, uh, we have to add this. Uh, uh, annual mean precipitation of 20 surrounding station that is 1972 value uh, 264 and 1971 value 228. So we will get this uh, 492 value. How do we get the corrected precipitation value this 185? So we have just simply to uh, minus this uh, uh, 188 from 373 we will get this 185. Similarly all these values uh, are to be calculated in the same manner. After the calculation of these values, the cumulative annual precipitation at X, that is PX, and cumulative annual precipitation of 20 surrounding station, that is uh, PAV, 
we have to plot the curve that is the double mass curve as shown in figure this is the curve uh, which is plotted from uh, this data here uh, you can see a clear point of deviation from this point uh, the line is deviated so at this point we have to calculate the slope uh, prior to the break and after to the break and have to calculate the correction factor so uh, in that case uh, we have first of all to calculate the SA that is slow prior to the break that is uh, SA is equal to 3410 minus 1656 divided by 4064 minus 2045 here are the values that is 3410 minus 1656 divided by 4064 minus 2045 so simplifying this you will get the value of SA that is equal to 0.868 similarly you have to calculate the SO value or S0 value that is the value of slope after the break that is 9024 minus 9623 divided by 9415 minus 7665 these are the values so you will get a value of S, uh, S0 that is equal to 1.20 so from uh, the value of SA and S0 we have to calculate the correction factor value that is S correction factor is equal to SA divided by S0 SA is equal to 0 0.868 divided by S0 that is equal to 1.20 so we will get the correction factor that is equal to 0 0.72 so uh, this correction factor is applicable to the data before, uh, before 1950 so we ha we have to multiply this value with these corrected uh, in order to get the corrected precipitation or consistent precipitation data. So these are the values uh, which are before 1950, that is 1949, 1948, and up to 1937. All these values, that is the precipitation of a station X, is should be multiplied by 0 0.7 in order to get the uh, data consistent. Uh, this is the curve. Uh, this is the curve you get uh, uh, while plotting the actual data. So the curve shows uh, in the actual data. Uh, the the curve shows in the blue with the blue line is uh, showing you the actual data. And uh, this the uh, curve with the red line showing you the corrected data. So this is the point of deviation. From this point, you have to calculate the S, uh, SA, which is the slope prior to the uh, before the break, and S0, which is the break, uh, uh, which is the slope after the break. And with the help of that, you have to calculate the correction uh, factor value and multiply that value with the uh, uh, values after the break in order to get the, the consistent uh, data. Here, you today's lectures end.